Hi, my name is Mary Beth Timothy. I live in Muskogee, Oklahoma. I am a citizen of the Cherokee Nation and I'm an artist. As a native artist that focuses mainly on wildlife, I was thrilled to have the opportunity to work on this project. In planning the design, it was expressed that the sculpture should somehow tie in with the five civilized tribes. Due to Andrew Jackson's 1830 Indian Removal Act, the Cherokee, Choctaw, Muscogee Creek, Chickasaw, and Seminole were forced to move west. Like these tribes, the sea turtles are being displaced and killed because of the expanding human population and our environmental neglect. The turtle has long been symbolic of longevity and endurance to the Iroquois people, which are a part of our early Cherokee heritage. The loggerhead sea turtle has also proven to be a symbol of strength and grace. The five tribes and the loggerhead both have epic survival stories. These tribes were pushed hundreds of miles, sometimes in extreme conditions, by wagon, boat, and on foot. Once they arrived in Indian Territory, they were met with feral wilderness. These people who had just been pushed from established towns with schools, complicated social institutions, and tribal governments had to start completely over. They struggled for 20 years just to survive and reestablish themselves. Then they were hit by the Civil War. All they had worked so hard to build was destroyed and they had to start all over again. During that time, much of the tribe's knowledge of their traditional arts and crafts were lost. They had to learn to readapt. Just as the sea turtle had to adapt due to changes in their environment, the loggerhead travels thousands of miles each year, enduring treacherous waters, boats, and predators just to lay their eggs. And although our people's survival was threatened and the turtles endangered, we have endured we have survived. This sculpture ties together the journey of the loggerhead sea turtle and the five civilized tribes. It is centered by a pole covered in ancient tribal symbols that were found in and around the burial mounds in the southeastern part of the United States. The symbols vary from fertility to sun circles to death motifs, all different components of life centering this sculpture. The helix intertwines both the turtle and human tracks, recreating their long journeys. On one side of each helix is the turtle tracks, and on the other side are the footprints of the men, women, and children of the five tribes during their trail of tears. The helix blooms at the top into human hands embracing the turtle, showing strength, survival, endurance, and grace of these fine creatures and our wonderful tribal nations. I believe, as a Native artist, that it's our responsibility to create art like this, to educate people about our history, about its value, and about these precious animals that are taken for granted by so many.